Right to that young woman who kicked her way into history, the first woman to get a shot at going to the NFL, except she didn't do very well. Yeah, uh, her kick was, some say, a setback for all women. Can women ever make it to the big leagues? No. It was the kick heard round the world. Around the world? Which landed with a thud. I've just it heard about it now, bruv. 28-year-old Lauren Silverman's hopes of being the first woman in the NFL fell so far short, she became fodder for comedians. She became a meme. There she is, uh, kicking the football, and um, she, Man. <laughs> she did not make the NFL. A former soccer player who'd never played football She's had never any played. business trying out for the NFL, even though she'd scored the tryout with this impressive field goal at a Super Bowl fan event. But the average NFL place kick, 41.8 yards. Silberman's attempt, drifting 19 yards. Nice ten. And just 13. Oh, good. The minute I kind of touched the ball, my quad, I could just feel like tense up and hurt. Oh. It was really painful. Of course, you come with the excuses at the end. She says the kick that's been heard around the world, I've never heard of it until about now, and this was a while ago, apparently. The thing that annoys me with this is the fact that someone else probably missed out on this opportunity just because of her. And it says she's never even played it. She went viral in some little clip because she kicked it through some fun fair, and now, oh, all of a sudden, let's give her an opportunity to try out for the NFL. I bet there's some other guy that's been working his ass off, blood, sweat, and tears, who was watching that thinking, what the fuck? What an absolute piss take. And then she's complaining about how much her leg hurts at the end after trying to kick. Do you really think she's going to survive in the NFL? She get f***ing destroyed. Even in most non-contact sports, women will get destroyed. You're a victim. Mm. <laughs> okay. If this is a skit, it's funny. If it's not, get some help. Can somebody tell me why it's always the guys who have been in long-term relationships that suck in bed? I am not speaking for myself, as I am a fantastic lover. But maybe it's because you slowly suck the will to live out of every man! <laughs> <laughs> What is your body count? It's Go ahead. Two. Probably like 13. I got one more question. Did y'all kiss me on the cheeks? I mean, yeah. Hey, babe. Oh, man. Nothing, okay? Oh, man. Is this serious? <laughs> me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Now, some of you might think, how's a boyfriend allowed her to do that? Let her do it. Let her expose herself. You don't need to be the guy that gets jealous and gets angry and causes a scene. Let her take the picture, and then afterwards, if you don't fuck with what she did, tell her even more calmly that we're done. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Don't explain. Sensational. He didn't know dating me came with lots of headaches. Man, I don't care how good she looks. If she's coming with a bunch of headaches and she's adding more stress than good in my life, then I'm not interested. You guys call me delusion or whatever. I think I'm maybe not 10. Let's not go that far. But <laughs> like definitely an eight per. What is beauty? So what, what is beauty? You can you can go online and have people rate your pictures and they, they rank you one to ten. That's wild. And and yeah. so you can get you can get a lot of data that says how attractive you are in society. And men will rate you, women will rate you like every day. I don't understand when girls say like I'm an eight because or sometimes I hear girls say times I hear this a lot where they say like because I love myself and I'm like confident now. But don't you think attractiveness is based on results? Mm. They may be, but I don't care about those results. To okay. be honest. You know what? Think what you want. Think you're a 10. Think you're a 12. Think you're a fucking elephant. I don't give a shit. But don't get upset when people tell you the truth. Race would you not date? Um, probably like Asian, Indian. That's it. Do you ever been in a bar and looked over there and one of your friends is like, do you think that guy's cute? And you're like, no. And then they're like, oh, well, he's like one of the best NHL players ever. And then you're like, oh, he is kind of cute. Like, what is that? What is that? Is it because he's good at it? What if they're like, he's the best investment banker ever? You're like, okay, oh, no. and? I'm No, backtrack. I would be like, oh, he's hot. Really? Because he's good at his job? Because he has the status. Best investment maker ever? <laughs> Money, honey. If a dude finds a pretty female who has no status, no following, nobody knows who she is, she's a gem. If I find a girl who has 
thousand followers and she's an eight. Oh my God, it's like finding Virgin Mary. So like, we don't want status. We don't need status. A lot of women care about status because a lot of women are hypergamous. Most men don't give a shit about status. If a rich man finds a woman that he's attracted to and he gets along with and she's broke, he'll turn her into a rich woman. A rich woman won't look twice at a broke man. And actually these days, a woman that doesn't have a bunch of followers online is seen as a green flag because most men know deep down that if she's got a bunch of followers, then there's a bunch of guys in her DMs inflating her ego and competing for her. Take a listen to what Jordan Peterson said the other day. And the research on this is becoming quite clear by the way so we know that female hyper users of instagram they're sadistic machiavellian psychopathic and narcissistic and they optimize for, for short-term mating strategies so they're promiscuous and that's a marker for antisocial behavior would you call that toxic femininity is there a such oh, a thing the, as toxic absolutely. femininity absolutely we know what toxic femininity is it's, okay. it's the female version of antisocial behavior is reputation savaging gossip innuendo backbiting Females can be very good at that. Now, men can do that too, and they do, especially on social media. But it's definitely the case that social media enables female antisocial type behavior, clearly. Uh, let me ask a personal question. Do you think I should talk to him on this podcast? How would you feel as a fan? Because I really enjoy talking to brilliant women. And to me, if I talk to somebody like Andrew Tate, even if I have a really hard hitting, I think it could be a very good conversation that lessens the likelihood that uh, a brilliant, powerful female will go on the show. They'll never watch it. Lex is the person that platforms misogynist. Personally, I don't think she's a brilliant and powerful female. She gets angry at you and doesn't want to speak to you because you speak to someone else with different opinions. When annoying girls ask for requests with their phone, and we change their phone to Chinese. Men so think they're so much more important than they are. Like, that's what we I'm don't saying. even need y'all for a good net no more. Yeah, like, <laughs> just like get that rose that you were advertising. Yeah. And even if they are there, if it's mediocre, it's not worth it anyways. Those two women don't want men anymore. Oh no, what are we gonna do? If anything, they're doing us a favor. Oh, what do we gotta have to have Jada? Though? Like, give us a checklist. But any um, man to be my nigga, you gotta be like, you gotta be hood. I only fuck with hood niggas. I don't want nothing that's not hood. You gotta carry a gun. If you don't carry a gun, I don't want you in my space. Jada, like, he couldn't be, like, a soccer player, like, a, like, a million, billion dollar soccer player. Like, he gotta have that, like, gangsta greasy to him. Oh, but you are, play. like, a suburban girl. Like, you're a suburban. I know. I'm a, I literally am a suburban girl, like, private school, Catholic school. But I always was attracted to those So people. you just, like, a thug thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's all fun and gay until he's dead or he's in jail. And it's funny, she says she's from the suburbs. She doesn't even understand that life. A lot of people from the outside think that life's cool, but a lot of people that are in that life are trying to get out. The amount of beefs and wars that are in the streets because of women is ridiculous. 90% of the, sh the, the beef that be in these streets and in the rap game be about a bitch, man. I just agree with that. To it some be point. about a bitch, man. I'm telling you, man. Point. Because oh. you, gotta, you gotta stay, everybody messing with the same chick, these dudes start pillow talking, one of these girls. Yes. But the girls, listen, but a lot of these girls be ladies of the night, they don't be ladies for life. And so, so I don't understand how we can even get to that point. If you know that, stepping into it. Me strategically going on the machine next to my gym crush to try it and find out his name. Nice to meet you, Dylan. Why do you need to strategically do that? Why can't you just ask Dylan his f***ing name, where he's from, and if he wants to go out for a drink sometime? It's not that complicated. You got a bunch of girls in the comments saying this is genius. If a guy was doing this, everyone would say he was a creep. Whoa, she just... Dog, uh, what? Did you just see that? This girl had a whole nigga with her and just literally gripped the fuck out of my back right now while she got her aunt. Anyway. It's an evil world we live in. Have you ever cheated on anyone? Yes. Why did you cheat on him? Because I was unhappy. Alright, what's his name? You should you should say his name and apologize. <laughs> if she cheats, she belongs to the streets.